This photo shows a picture of a thermostat area of a BMW cylinder head that has been partially damaged by electrolysis. Notice how the aluminum has been eaten away and eroded by the chemical electric reactions. Electrolysis is a process of current traveling through your coolant. A poorly grounded starter can literally destroy a radiator or a head within a matter of weeks depending upon how often the car is started. A smaller current drain, like an electrical cooling fan, may slowly erode components over many months. Always make sure you're checking your grounds at least once a year. This photo shows the coolant drain plug, yellow arrow, and the hoses that need to be disconnected in order to empty the coolant system. Green arrow is the return hose from the front radiator. Orange arrow is the thermostat housing and supplies coolant to the front radiators. The red and purple arrows are the heat supply return lines, and the white arrow shows the radiator vent hose, which should not need to be disconnected. After you've drained the coolant, reattached the drain plug and hoses, it's time to fill the car up with coolant. I personally like to use the Porsche factory coolant, which is a bit more expensive, but specifically formulated for the cars. However, if you use a standard off-the-shelf coolant that meets or exceeds the factory specifications, then that should work just fine. The red arrow points to the coolant level indicator on the side of the tank. The photo insert shows the trapdoor panel that hides the bleeder valve underneath. The coolant bleeder valve has a small metal clip on it. Flip the clip upwards to open the valve so that you can bleed the coolant system. Check your manual to see how much coolant your car should take. Due to the different makes and models, you should plan on using anywhere from 19 to 22 liters. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.